Hi everyone. Did you know possessing liquid THC in Wyoming can be a felony? This is Christina Williams with Just Criminal Law. And David Mann, legal storytelling specialist. Uh, no, I did not know that. So there's a liquid form of THC. Right. And one of my clients has found out the hard way. Um, she's currently facing a felony charge for possessing a vape pen that contains liquid THC. And you know what what is shocking to her is that she could possess a marijuana cigarette and that would not be a felony, but because a vape pen was located in her car, she's now facing a felony. Wow. Yeah, we would normally not think of marijuana carrying a felony charge until it's a huge amount. But you're saying this is sort of a normal-ish, you know, one person amount of THC, but it's a felony in liquid form. Yes. So, you know, she's coming to Wyoming um, to see friends and family, and there's um, she's in a fender bender and law enforcement ends up finding a THC pen in her car and granted she's coming from a state where it's perfectly legal and it you know it's located in in the back seat and she indicates to the officer I don't know how that got there it's not my vape pen but nonetheless she's charged with possessing it and is now having to defend against a felony. Okay, so a felony uh, for liquid uh, marijuana, is, is, is this true of other drugs too? Right, so I mean, if you're in possession of say something like heroin, um, anything more than three tenths of a gram of liquid form heroin is a felony as well. So, you know, they're putting THC in the same category as some really dangerous drugs like heroin. Has that always been the case that marijuana and heroin have, have been, had exactly the same consequence for possession? Well, it started in the 70s with um, the war on drugs. And ever since then, yes, that has been the, the way that it's scheduled. Um, and Schedule One controlled substance is considered highly addictive with no medical purpose. And as we know, there's definitely medical benefits to THC. And in fact, there is FDA approved drug now that contains THC. And so it doesn't belong in that Schedule One controlled substance anymore, but the wheels of justice or the wheels of the law turn very slowly. And regarding your client, is there a way for you to get her through this and have it have a good outcome for her? Sure, we have a plan and you know, we're, um, I realize I've had similar cases where the client was afforded a very good deal where we were able to plead it down to a misdemeanor and then let them go through a probationary period and get the case completely dismissed. The prosecutor's not willing to offer that in this case, so you know we can still ask the judge to um, give her treatment where under the law she can go through probation and get it dismissed or we can just take it to trial because she, you know all the evidence points to the fact that she did not know it was in her vehicle and she came from a place where it is legal and you know very likely someone else could have left that pen in her vehicle unbeknownst to her. Well at least now from watching this video people who are seeing this at least know that liquid THC carries such a severe penalty uh, if you're in possession of it. So if someone finds that they're in a position like this, how do they get a hold of you? Sure, we'll include a link in the description where they can call, text, or chat with a member of my team anytime, day or night. Here at Just Criminal Law, we know you only get one shot at justice, so make yours count.